Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. <clears throat> last night, uh, after I uh, made my last video and I uploaded it, uh, I read some comments and um, one of the comments uh, unrelated to the video I made said something about reporting on uh, an alleged uh, spending spree coming from uh, Zelenskaya. I think that's how you... Uh, that's Zelenskaya. Zelensky's wife. Supposedly, some people claim uh, that uh, uh, she spent $1.1 million on some jewelry in New York City, I think on the 22nd of this month. I'm sorry, last month, September. And uh, I said, well, let me check. And I checked and I'm going to report here. First, I'm going to start with uh, the Ukrainska Pravda, um, which deemed necessary to disprove the story and tell us that it's a lie and then i checked further so let me show you first the ukrainian article coming from ukrainska pravda it is from today thursday 5th of october 2023 so it says russians spread fake about zelenska no zelenska zelenska buying us one they uh one million should be here worth of jewelry in us and he says that there have been a lot of fakes about zelensky and his wife olena since the beginning bah, 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 bah. however the most recent one deserves special attention i understand why why don't you just give a well it's a lie that's it but anyway that's the right and appreciation for the plot it is about us one million worth of diamonds and a sweet girl from the african republic of benin who came to conquer new york now this, if this would be reported, this is the woman. So obviously she's an African-American now. I think she's just an African. He's not. An, I don't think she's an African-American. Anyway, she's from Benin. Obviously she is, how do I'm going to call it? Uh, Sub-Saharan African. I don't know how you call it. But you know what I mean. So if these guys attack her, they, they would be called racist and all that. But because it's this guy, nobody will call them. Because these guys are going to make these guys. Uh, being Ukrainska Pravda, the Ukrainians are going to mock her, the poor victim. You're going to see all this is just uh, mocking that person, reporting it. So, it says here, a sweet girl, that's the first thing, mock, from the African Republic of Benin, who came to conquer New York, another hit, to her dream job at the Cartier Boutique, dream, got her dream job at the Cartier Boutique and lost it two weeks later, due to a Spiteful first lady. Or spitful? Spitful. The girl deserves some kind of audience award for how diligently she pronounces Zelenskaya, Russian translation of Olena Zelenska's surname. Okay, another hit at a woman. I don't know so far, just watch it. This is the person, all right? Good enough. Let me make it smaller so you can have the whole picture right here. All right, so she's the person reporting it. So, it says here, about a week ago, a wife of the president of Ukraine, Olena Zelans Zelenska, came to the man mansion. It was during their visit to New York, she says. Okay. Gets the popcorn. The poor woman, again, told her story on the now empty Instagram account created in August 2023. She said Zelenska visited the boutique during her trip to the United States with her husband, the inexperienced but hardworking saleswoman, again, another hit, uh, tried to help the VIP client, but Zelenska was not in a good mood, shouted at her and demanded to speak to the manager. The innocent, again, Jeanette, Jeanette, that's the Jeanette, that's the name of the girl judging by the account handle, was dismissed from the job, but she decided to not leave the slight, un the slight unanswered and made public Zelenska's check, totaling a million dollars. So this she provided here a with a picture of this from a Cartier, pop, 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 September 22, 2023. You can't really see. Sold by Lisa Young and bracelet, pa, pop, 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 invoice. It doesn't say who's uh, who did it. 
and the total is 1,110,000 trabalabalab. Okay, so this is doesn't say Zelenska or whatever. A Nigerian media outlet, The Nation, could not ignore, again, poor Jeanette's story. How many hits they heard the poor African woman? Are these guys Nazis? <laughs> it's its article about Zelenska was enthusiastically spread by the Russian media. I have here Russian media and I verified to see if I find it. And the public as if it was going out of style. However, this story caused doubts even among the local social media users. And they're going to tell us why. They say the date on the check is 22nd September 2023, while the First Lady, together with Volodymyr Zelensky, was on an official visit to Canada on the 22nd September 2023, which make it, rem remember these words, physically impossible for Olena Zelenska to have been in the New York jewelry stores during the time indicated on the fake che check, the post says. So, you got it? And that's the, the, the end of the article. That's the end of the article. So their argument is she was in Canada and she could not physically, it would be physically impossible to be in New York. Well, uh, that could be, but let's see. I checked travel math. And I said the flight time from Ottawa, where probably she was at one point, Ontario to New York, New York City is one hour and 10 minutes. Do you think that Zelensky drove from New York City to Ottawa? No, he flew. Do you think they flew on a what? Passenger uh, rubbed shoulders with everybody and uh, the airport and where do you think they took off from? JFK and landed to where? No, they probably went with a special jet that traveled less than an hour, fast, okay? Or maybe with a helicopter, who the hell knows? So it's not physically impossible. I'm not saying she did it. I'm just saying that their only argument that it was impossible for her to be physically in New York because she was an hour away from New York, this is garbage. It's not impossible. It's very likely. Why? If I travel right now in this fantastic country of the United States of America and I want to go somewhere to buy, let's say, groceries, I drive at least 30 minutes to go to one or two stores in this with my car. So just to do grocery shopping, ask Americans how, how much they have to drive to go to buy groceries or to do something. So one hour of takeoff land, yes, she maybe showed up with him, showed up in the parliament, showed up here, showed up. And then what? She was not with Zelensky holding hands all day, was she? First, I don't know, but the point that she, it's physically impossible is garbage. Now, the other thing, let me see what the Russians said about it, right? So, um, the first one is with that. The second one, I said, let's see if, and I put here, the fact check. Did Zelensky's wife spend, actually, spend, spend $1.1 million? And I found reportedly Zelensky's wife Euro, Euro, pa, pa, pa. And I said, oh, RT, Russia Today, got them. All right, so those guys lie. And the rest is just other things. So I said, okay, these are not the press united, uh, the stories. It's not something like a rational. So I said, okay, let's do it right now. So I end over there and I found this. And I found this yesterday when I read that uh, specific um how do you call it, uh, comment on that video. So error, page, page not found at the thing that they indicate here, right? That's not here. So I said, okay, let me go to Russia today. What the hell? So I went to Russia today, to the site. I said, okay, let me put it right here and say like a tar that I am, uh, Zelensky's wife. Okay. All right. Let's see, what do you have? And I'm looking. Ram, pam, 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 pam. Oh, unsure. There's nothing. There is nothing. Let's copy this so I don't have to pecker, how do you call it, type. 
and I went to Sputnik, other evil guys, right? Again, let's go over here. And believe me, I, I did this before I, before I and started my, my video. And I couldn't find uh, Zelenskaya, Zelensky, one million. There he is, my friends. There's nothing. I'm going to put, so you can see, let's see, 1.1. Uh, All right, that would probably work. Nothing. All right, let's take this one. And uh, let's go back to this ones. All right. Nothing. So garbage. And now I found one. I went on this and I found one Russian news. I don't know what that is. So I said, Elena Zelenskaya, luxurious acquisition in New York. So I went over there and they gave me this site. I don't even know who these guys are, Russia News. And they said this and this is two, two hours ago. So this was two hours ago. But remember, this one, the Ukrainians uh, uh, article was older than two hours ago. Right there. It was 12.45 their time. So that means here it was uh, about what? Four o'clock? Four, three, three a.m.? Something like that? Three a.m. It was here. And these guys showed up with this two hours ago. And they, I don't even know who these guys are. I mean, it's not like Russia Today or something. Russia, Russia's news. So my point is this. It was not impossible for Zelenskaya to go and do her shopping for about five hours. And I gave her five hours on the 22nd. And then join her husband for an hour here or half an hour there or two hours there. Do you think that they held hands all the time? No. Indeed, she probably was in Ottawa. She was not in Toronto. If she was in Toronto, the same. It's maybe an hour and a half uh, flight. The same is charter flight. It's not a boo, uh, everybody put your little things, mask and all. Boom, boom. Or helicopter. I'm just saying. Private. So it's not impossible. I don't have the evidence it happened. Now let's go back to the Nigerian uh, uh, woman. Is it true? Should people look into it? I'm 100% that if someone wants to investigate that, they will find out if she was over there or she wasn't. It's very, very simple. Very simple. How? There's cameras everywhere, my friends. Not only on the store, in the store, outside of the store, uh, in, on, in the street. You can verify the flights, whatever, who landed where. It's not hard, my friends. It's not hard if you really want to do an investigation. But anyway, I don't think... Uh, first, do I think she's got the money? I give it 50%. I think I think that they have a lot of money. I know they have millions uh, as a worth net, net worth. According to like two or three million dollars or something. It was last time I verified. But I suspect it's much more than that. But it's their money. I don't care if, if it's their money and it's acquired legally and nicely. But I suspect, not suspect, it's a possibility, not a probability, a possibility that certain things uh, were diverted and came in and out. Do I have any evidence? I don't have any evidence, but we're going to find out in, uh, as someone said, history will absolve me if uh, uh, some people uh, attack me. And I don't know. I have no idea. And if it's her money, I don't care if she spent it. She can spare, spend it on, uh, I don't know, gigolos if she wants. I don't really care. As long as your money... Did, and you can say, well, uh, those Ukrainians are uh, suffering over there. So what is she supposed to do? Go to the man, man monastery now and put a chastity belt around her pussy or something? Not enjoy anything? She should be like Zelensky, pretend that he's suffering with his little beard and uh, trimmed beard, I might say. And he's always like, he's concerned. He's a human being and he's a clown uh, on top of this. So thank you very much for being with me again today. No Russia today, no uh, Sputnik uh, mention of this garbage. So again, I don't know. And I think Ukrainska Pravda should be actually in the name of the Ukrainian nation be very interested if she indeed did that, did that and conducted a big investigation. Because if she did that, then they can say, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're suffering here and you spend your money. But how come you have $1.1 million? Hmm? But it seems like they, from the very beginning, the main thing is she was not with him. Impossible. She was across the, uh, the globe 
uh, one hour flight. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.